videos to show you how to load your Silhouette Cameo 4 Pro cutting machines. The Cameo 4 Pro accommodates material sizes up to 24 inches in width. The material length will depend on whether you are using a cutting mat. When using a 24 by 24 cutting mat, the maximum length is 24 inches. When using rolled materials that bypass a cutting mat, such as vinyl or heat transfer material, you can use materials of up to 60 feet in length. There are several guide marks on the front of the machine. These first two marks with arrows are the cutting mat and material loading guide marks respectively. If using a 24 by 24 cutting mat, you will align the left edge of your mat with the first mark. If using a smaller cutting mat or material without a mat, you will align the left edge of your material with the second mark. This will ensure that the left hand roller is properly gripping the left side of your mat or material. The next few marks indicate where to set your right hand slider for various material or mat sizes. This is the A4 material guide mark. This is the letter size or portrait mat size guide mark. This is the A3 size guide mark. This is the 12 inch width material guide mark. This is the 12 inch cameo cutting mat size guide mark. This is the 15 inch material size guide mark. This is the cameo plus mat size guide mark. This is the 20 inch material size guide mark. The last mark is the 24 inch mat or material size guide mark. The rest of the raised lines along the front of the machine are present to help reduce friction for your mat or material as it is moving in and out of the machine during operation. They are not guide marks and can be ignored. Once you've defined your material size or decided to use the cutting mat, you can adjust the right hand slider if needed. To adjust the right hand slider, unlock the roller bar by lowering the lever on the right hand side of the machine. Once the lever is pointing forward, this means the roller bar is unlocked. Grip the right hand slider with two fingers. Move the right hand slider until the center of the tab is aligned with the desired guide mark. Once the slider is in the desired position, lock the roller bar by raising the lever on the right hand side of the machine. Once the lever is pointing upward, this means the roller bar is locked. Never attempt to cut with the roller bar unlocked or with the slider in a non-defined position. These two center tabs are to help stabilize your material during the cutting process. Once you have your right hand slider in its defined position, you can easily slide these stabilization rollers to center them. When using a cutting mat, make sure that you have defined your cutting mat size and material size in the software. The software will then show you on screen where your material should be placed onto the cutting mat. Make sure to always match your actual setup with your on screen setup. To add additional support for your cutting mat, set up the mat support pieces underneath where the cutting mat is going to rest. To use the mat support, Gather the mat support parts that came with your machine. Insert the two end pieces as well as the thicker middle piece underneath the Cameo 4 Pro machine. Insert the long piece in front of these pieces to connect everything together. Proceed to load your cutting mat as directed. Once your material is on your cutting mat, align the left hand side of the mat with the leftmost guide mark. With the right hand slider in its proper position, the right hand side of the mat should be properly gripped. Both rollers should be gripping the sides of the mat evenly. With the cutting mat aligned properly, press the leading top edge of the mat up against the pinch rollers and press the load button or up arrow on the machine. The mat should be pulled into the machine and be ready to receive your job. As an alternative, you can load your cutting mat using the delayed loading method. To do this, press the load button or up arrow on the machine. The button will begin to flash, indicating that it is ready to load the material. Line up the left edge of the cutting mat with the leftmost guide mark 
and make sure the top edge of the mat is flush against the roller bars. After the machine senses the mat is in place, the machine will grip the cutting mat and load it into position. When cutting materials that are fed directly into the cutting machine, make sure that you have defined your cutting mat setting as none and the correct material size in the software. The leading edge of the material should be straight across and not cut at an angle. Align the left hand side of the material with the inner left guide mark. The right hand slider should be in the appropriate position for your material width. If your material is slightly smaller than the slider setting, you will need to move to a smaller slider position. If the size of the material is smaller than the smallest slider setting, you will need to use the cutting mat. With the right hand slider in its proper position, the right hand side of the material should be properly gripped. Both grips should be holding the sides of the material evenly. Be careful not to shift the left side of your material beyond the loading mark guideline. Otherwise, it can obstruct the auto blade's ability to set itself. With the material aligned properly, press the leading top edge of the material up against the pinch rollers and press the load button or up arrow on the machine. The material should be pulled into the machine and be ready to receive your job. As an alternative, you can load your media using the delayed loading method. To do this, press the load button or up arrow on the machine. The button will begin to flash, indicating that it is ready to load the material. Line up the left edge of the media with the inner left guide mark and make sure the top edge of the material is flush against the roller bar. After the machine senses the media is in place, the machine will grip the media and load it into position. The Cameo 4 Pro includes a separate roll feeder that can be assembled for use when cutting rolled materials such as vinyl and heat transfer. To use the roll feeder, make sure you have ample flat desktop space in front of the machine. Gather the roll feeder parts. Insert the left and right roll feeder pieces as well as the right end piece under the Cameo 4 Pro machine. Insert the long piece in front of these pieces to connect everything together. Adjust the middle piece to match the size of your roll. This can be adjusted anywhere from 9 inches to 24 inches wide. Place your roll into the roll feeder, making sure that the roll is on the roll feeder wheels and the edges are comfortably gripped by both sides of the roll holders. Adjust the roll feeder wheels to accommodate the thickness of your roll if necessary. Proceed to load your material as previously directed. Aside from setting up your mat or material, you'll also need to load your blade or other tool into the machine. When using the auto blade, you do not have to manually set the blade level. This will be done by the machine based on the blade settings selected in the software. If using another manual type blade, you will need to first adjust the blade setting prior to loading it in the machine. Once your blade is ready, load it by dropping it into the blade holder in the machine with the blade pointing down and the flat edge of the blade facing toward the back of the machine. Make sure to push the blade all the way down before locking it into place. Once seated in the machine, lock the blade by pressing the lock lever inward. Once you have your mat or material loaded, before sending your job from the software, always make sure you have enough clearance in front of and behind your machine. When using the 24 by 24 cutting mat with the Cameo Pro, you need about 20 inches in front of and about 20 inches behind your machine to keep the mat supported at all times. We hope this information helps you to make sure your machine is properly loaded and ready to send your job.